I would like to introduce our guests today on the panel. Uh, first of all, Jeremy Rifkin, the president of the Foundation on Economic Trends and author of a best-selling book, Third Industrial Revolution, and um, the director general of UNIDO, Kande Junkela. We believe we are at the beginning of a third industrial revolution, and I wanted all member countries of UNIDO to hear the message and ask the, the key question, how does this apply to our economies? How can we be part of this revolution? And of course, how do we share knowledge, share capital and investments around the world to make this revolution really happen? Every country, developing country, has enough in renewable energy to be able to begin on their own and then collaborate with others. So I think that's particularly why I'm interested in what UNIDO is doing, because I think UNIDO is ideally positioned as the industrial vehicle of the United Nations of the world to bring the technology, the know-how, uh, the collaborative uh, expertise that's required to work with local regions and local countries to move this quickly in the developing world. In the next 40 years, we have to dramatically transition the entire infrastructure of the world economy in both the developing and developed countries. That is hundreds of millions and literally billions of jobs, and it's thousands of new SMEs because we have to change the whole infrastructure. We have to move from fossil fuels to renewable energies, pillar one. Pillar two, we have to convert every building in the world to your own power plant to create green electricity. That's millions of jobs, lots of businesses. Pillar three, we have to put in hydrogen storage to store these energies across the world, lots of jobs and businesses. Pillar four, we have to completely convert the electricity grid of the world to an energy internet. That's 40 years of jobs and businesses. In pillar five, we have to transition our entire transport fleet from the internal combustion engine to electric and fuel cell vehicles. You put those five together, we're talking about not hundreds of millions, but over a period of 40 years, billions of jobs. And it starts day one. Uh, when people say, how do you do this? Where do you come up with the money? The money is there. We're spending money now on infrastructure, but it's the second industrial revolution infrastructure that's broken apart and gives us no multiplier effect. We don't want it to collapse, but that's not where the multiplier is. In a, in a third industrial revolution world, no one goes it alone. Everybody has to be relatively self-sufficient, but to get enough load to run a continental economy, everyone has to share and collaborate. That's why it's more tailored for the Internet generation, because they're comfortable with that. They, they don't think top-down. They, they think entrepreneurial and collaborative. So I think if I were betting, I would say that the developing countries in Asia, Africa, and, and Mexico to Chile are a, are, a, are a good fit to move actually more quickly. I'll be in South Africa on Sunday. We will launch the new renewable energy strategy, SARI, for South Africa. They've already raised $250 million, and more companies are coming in. They're using all sources uh, to help this transition. So solar, wind, hydro, and in fact, bioenergy. The South Africans are serious, and it is about jobs. See, it is the Minister of Economy mm -hmm. who is explaining this to the rest of the world and saying, look, it's about industry. We also, in South Africa, want to produce the components. 